In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the Xamarin Realm database to create new record. So if we take a look at our application in its current state, we'll see that we don't have any people to list out. So let's go ahead and wire up our add function. I'm going to stop the simulator and then we're going to take a look at our Realm DB service. And we'll see we don't have anything implemented. Before we can start implementing the service, we first need to add the Realm NuGet packages, not only to our forms PCL, but also to our individual platform projects as well. So I added it to iOS, and now I'm going to add it to Android. So now that we've added our NuGet packages, we can start updating our service and models to use Realm. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go into my person model, which as you can see, is very simple. It has a first name property as well as a last name property. I'm gonna make our class extend realm object. And this will basically allow us to save this object to our database for later retrieval. Now I'm gonna go into my realm DB service, and then I'm going to update save person. And before I update save person, I need to get an instance to realm. So I'm gonna say this realm instance equals realm get instance. And this is just gonna be a nice convenient reference that we can use locally. And I'm gonna make this protected in case I ever want to extend this class. And so I'm gonna say realm instance dot write and we're gonna use a Lambda expression for our action. And we're gonna say realm instance create object. And we wanna specify the type of object that we wanna create. And right now we only have one, which is person. I'm also gonna set this to a variable. So I can then say person first name equals first name. And then I'm gonna say person dot last name equals last name. Now if I compile, I'm going to get a compile error because I need to return some sort of success boolean. And then for now I'm just going to do a return true here. And then I'm going to wrap this also in try catch, just in case we do something that we shouldn't. At least we have an opportunity to do something about it or put a breakpoint here to see what's going on. And now if I compile our project, we have no problem. Let's take a quick look at our add edit person view model, and we'll see that I have this save command. And our save command is basically just calling DB service save person, and it's grabbing the first name and last name of what we've entered. If we go into the XAML for the person page, we'll see that we've bound to this command, like so. And now, if I run our application, we'll again see our blank screen. I'm gonna hit add. I'm gonna type in Ben for the first name, Bishop for the last, and hit create. So hopefully we've done everything correctly, and in the next lesson we'll find out if we did indeed create this record correctly.